Hi, my name is Woody Walton. I'm a solutions architect for the public sector here at Elastic. Today I'm going to quickly go through creating a custom region map. Elastic has recently added a lot of functionality such as the Elastic Map Service which hosts a set of GeoJSON shapefiles and these are primarily used to uh, use as visualizations for your Kibana dashboards and such. There are very useful uh, blog posts on the website such as Mark Walcom's walkthrough of creating custom region maps allows you to go step by step through apps needed to create one including the configuration you need for your Kibana. I uh, followed these procedures and still had one issue that I want to make sure everyone here is uh, familiar with. So first thing is obviously you need to have Kibana version 5.5 or greater you need a GeoJSON file that you want to serve up that has the shapes that you're interested in displaying. And you can either have those hosted on a map server or your own web server. And that's where I kind of ran into the problem. And then the other thing you need is data with a matching shape field that will be used to filter the results on. So, without further ado, the one piece that I was missing from that uh, walkthrough was the fact that you need the KPN version header included with your cores configuration for your web server. So here's an example of that in my local Tomcat instance. You can see the uh, KPN version header over here on the far right. So not a big deal, just need to include that in your configuration to allow it to come through. All right, so once I configure that, I downloaded my GeoJSON file, or you can create your own. The other blog post actually has a lot of great information for that. And then once it's being served up, you can see that one of the fields included is the ward ID, which is what I will use in my visualization. So make sure that inside of your Kibana configuration, you've added the necessary uh, region map configuration parameters. So in this case, I'm calling the uh, region map DC wards, it's pointing to my local host, and it's using the ward ID to map to the ward, the ward field. Inside Kibana, you can see that my data is crime data in this case, and each record comes with a field that identifies what ward it occurred in. So let's create a visualization. Go to visualize, create region map, use our DC crime index pattern, And we'll select the, the shape field. We'll use a terms aggregation on the ward field. And DC has eight wards, so we'll go ahead and increase the size. Go to options, and you see the vector map is already listed there as the top. Also includes uh, a list of the other out-of-the-box shape files that come with the last map service and it's already pre pre-populated to the join field which is war ident identified that as ward so let's go ahead and run this one and zoom into the area and you can see that my data is now filtered through a shape file of the DC wards and you can use that for filtering and what have you well I hope this was useful um, hopefully that one last step of adding the KBN version header will save someone else some time. Hope you have a great day.